Hello from London, Gareth here and it's Quick Tip Tuesday. It seems quite a while actually since I've done one of these straight piece to camera type vlogs because I've been on the road as you'll know if you follow the vlog and you see me vlogging from Berlin and then from Vienna and then my daily vlogs in Bratislava at the Polyglot Gathering. I finished up the day after the gathering with a review vlog all about the content of the talks and I've added a written review on howtogetfluent.com that appeared on Sunday looking again in detail at some of the content of the talks that I attended. So if you're interested in the substance check out the written review too. You know going through my notes and choosing some photos to illustrate the blog post really reminded me what a great time I'd had at the gathering and on the trip altogether. I was busy sh shooting other video too, uh, mainly uh, a few fun travel vlogs from Vienna which will be coming up so look out for those. There's also some other travel vlogs in the pipeline and some more interviews with leaders in the field of language learning which will be coming up in the coming months on the channel so look out for that. Quick Tip Tuesday along with me here in London is back so any topics you'd like me to look at do you know put the suggestions down in the comments below although I've got lots of ideas and all the more since I got back from the gathering myself. So what about today's quick tip? Well today's quick tip is using I think the power of uh, um, shame really uh, and not wanting to lose face to keep us going in our language learning. What I'm talking about is establishing some sort of public or semi-public accountability uh, when you're working towards an intermediate language goal. If you've been around for a while with me you'll know that I am a great fan of the intermediate language goal. Some, something you, you set yourself to achieve within the next one to three months say. Long enough to make a difference not so long into the future that you can easily postpone things. If you've done that then let people know about it. You can do this in some sort of formal program but you don't have to be in a paid program. You can do something informal too. Of course if you've got a tutor uh, or uh, some sort of language mentor in any case you will have some sort of accountability. But what about if you're mainly working as many of you will be and as I often am through self-study. In that case it can help to engage uh, a good friend or a relative or to announce to your circle of friends for example uh, what you're doing to try and keep you on the straight and narrow. This could be as simple as something such as a weekly Facebook update as to what you've been doing so that all your friends can see it or using Twitter for the same purpose. If you want to make it a bit more personal you could ask a friend or a relative if they wouldn't mind if you emailed them once a week say on a Sunday evening uh, and you could then let them know what you've done that week uh, or get your excuses in if you haven't achieved what you expected to and they could maybe just fire back tell them just fire back uh, uh, one or two line response doesn't have to be a lot of work for them uh, but they may be able to encourage you or shame you uh, back onto the straight and narrow. Another way you can let your your social circle or uh, a, an interested friend or relative know what you've been doing is to run a spreadsheet on Google Docs for example, give them access to it so that they can just tick, uh, you know, check in and see what you've been doing again maybe once or twice a week. Doesn't need to take more than five or ten minutes for them but it could be hugely helpful for you. If you find it doesn't have the effect then one thing you could do is up the stakes by perhaps having some sort of wager almost, uh, putting uh, 10 pounds, 10 euros, 10 dollars whatever it is or a larger amount in the kitty which will you will then sacrifice to your friend or donate to a charity for example if you if you don't keep going. Uh, there are even sites which enable you to do this in a more formal way Beeminder is one of the ones I've heard of. I've never used it myself but something like that might be worth looking into if you feel you need a bit more of a stick as well as well as a carrot. Uh, so you know uh, maybe that's a way you could go. Altogether though I really think that uh, not losing face is quite important to all of us really. We're all social animals at the end of the day and we do care uh, what other people think about us so why not use that uh, to help keep us on 
the straight and narrow with our language learning. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work on its own. It needs to be a part of a larger program to work with motivation and habit and regularity of language study. But maybe uh, for you, it could have a part to pay to play. It certainly kept me going in the past. Uh, have you found this has been the case with you or are you thinking of uh, setting up some sort of accountability partner? Uh, let us know about that in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you're, if you're gonna, gonna experiment, uh, best of luck with it and, and do find somebody, you know, people generally like to help. And as I say, uh, the uh, commitment to them can be, can be very, very small in terms of time, as much as opening an email or checking, checking out what you've been doing on your uh, publicly accessible uh, spreadsheet, something like that. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to uh, look out for further quick tip Tuesday videos and for the longer format on Thursday, you can subscribe for the vibe, think about a thumbs up, tickle that bell, and remember, sharing is caring. See you next time. Bye.